is the inexpensive way of making lead shot. First, I'm just going to talk about the coolant. I've got the coolant in here boiling up to 32 degrees. Oops. In a little hot water boiling urn, just 30 degrees switched on. I've got a little army ammo tub in there. A little plastic tub where I've just cut a lip out there to collect the overflow. Just made some lead shot earlier. Okay, here's how you clean the lead. So these are some pellets I made just before. Just gonna clean this up. So you wanna scrape all of the crap out. Don't want any of this stuff going through the drippers. Like I say, this is the cheap way of doing it. I've got the shot maker propped up on some wood. There's nothing fancy about doing it like this. It just gets the job done. Okay, so now I'm just going to pour the coolant in. Slightly strange how I have to warm up coolant, but. Okay, and then I'll set the machine away. Then I'll just prop it up at the back, just to give it that extra elevation. Okay. Just set off. We're only going on one side. Alright. You see we need some wax there, I'll go and get some wax. We'll just smear it. There we go. Just the way. So, that's fine. Might as well do the whole lot. And now we're making lead shot. So ideally, this drop here is actually submerged into the liquid. We don't want a drop at all. So this lead shot may not be the best. Or well, certainly worth on it. You see there's crap that's left here at the back. I don't want any of this. This is the stuff that's found at the bottom. I'll just get rid of that. As the pressures drop off Slow, slow it down. That's when you know you come at the end of production. If you want to keep your sizes consistent, you want to keep a regular flow rate throughout. So as these jets 
start to appear, you know the size of your lead is going to start changing bigger because it's starting to blob out and so just flow out fast like this strip of here. See, so tapping them is making them go, but them are clearly bigger than those over here. So I will now stop production there, set the machine back, switch it off, and show you guys what I just made. You can already hear that stuff flowing around nice and nice and around in there. This is a great, great noise to hear. So I'll grab the sieve. There you go. Just a tiny little run in a short dripper. Look at all how round that is. There's a few blobs in there, you see that's from just a little blockages. Gonna give this a clean. So I got the pellets and run them under a tap. Now obviously fabric softener is safe to go on the sink as it's, you know it does in washing machines, it just gets washed away down and sorted out down at the factory so it's perfectly safe to do so in small volumes. Obviously you want to try and keep as much fabric softener as possible so you don't constantly have to buy this stuff. But this is unsieved and dried, you see there's not too many misshapen pellets. So we don't need the graphite, this stuff or anything like that. This can go straight into the cartridges and it can go straight down the range and go and shoot it. It's affordable, it's exactly what you need to keep the costs down.